Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program you have recently installed. This server arrived. The program can start because vconf 110.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very common error and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, let's get started. The very first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for vcomp110.dll. You can choose any result you want. In this case, I'll be choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see a few download option pages under architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is a 64-bit PC and I'm updated to the recent Windows update. So in this case, I'll be downloading the first one. Make sure you download your version of Windows. I strongly recommend you to read this page. It has other fixing method also. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded zip has the DLL file in it. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then new volume C, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLL files. And then click on the downloaded zip, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace and click on continue to give administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check. By typing the entire file name, we can see the file is placed in 32-bit folder. So job is done for 32-bit users. You can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64-bit user, open this PC one more time. Locally see Windows and this time find a folder named syswap64. This is the home of 64-bit DLLs and similarly drag and drop. In short, 64-bit users need to place the file in both 32-bit folder and 64-bit folder. Check this one more time. By typing the entire file name, you can see the file is placed in 64-bit folder as well. So, job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are a occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ to distributable and install your program again. And that will surely fix your issue. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video and do not forget to like and subscribe.